Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Mr. 3D. So one of the ways to add realism to your scene or to your animations is by having natural handheld movement of your camera. And this can be done in several ways for different 3D softwares. But today we are looking at how it can be done directly in Blender. And for Blender by default, how you can do this is by simply adding a camera, put a few keyframes and do some manual adjustments in the graph editor and then go over to the modifiers in the graph editor and start fiddling around with the modifiers and that seems to be good process until you have to do a specific camera motion or you're looking for a particular sort of motion to suit what your project needs to have and that might become a nightmare for you so that's why we are taking a look at the quick motion camera shake add-on for blender so how this one works is very fascinating and a huge shout out for Resi for making this thing possible now if you want to get this add-on the affiliate link is going to be in the description where you can grab it and it won't cost you anything more but it will help this channel out and working with this is insanely easy so with blender simply fired up what you need to do is you need to go over to edit preferences and install it right now. Once you install it, you can literally start doing tons of stuff. What I mean by that is you can add complex camera animations within clicks. So to start off with, we are going to press N on your keyboard and you will notice that we have a new panel right here called Quick. Once you click on it, you will see there are four different categories of the Quick Motion Camera add-on. So we will take a look at them in a minute. But first, the easiest and quick way to add new camera motions is we have some presets by default. So to get them, press Shift A and go over to camera and you would notice that we have these five presets. So first of all, we are going to check quick motion camera. Press it and it's going to add a quick motion camera. Just numpad 0 to go into the camera view and as you can see, we have beautiful animation going right here. Now let's just delete it and then shift a add quick racing camera and take a look at it so yeah it's nice let's try another one quick phone camera and you can see this amazing animation it's kind of like drone camera so there's also an hand healed camera Pretty good. Let's add a last one called quick tilt camera. And you can see, very nice, insanely amazing. So, these are the default presets that we have with this add on. Open up a new scene in Blender. And take a look at the default camera now with the default camera we don't have any kind of animation to it so what if we have animation applied to it and we also want to add some camera shake to it to do that we are simply going to animate the camera just a bit so let's just press G and move it right here and that's how we have a simple animation so to start off you can also go over to the quick add-on menu right here under the quick camera shake you will be able to apply shakes or you can also apply quick shake by selecting your camera and right click on your mouse and you can select quick add motion or quick add shake so for this case I'm going to use quick add shake and press numpad 0 on your keyboard to get into the camera and see what's going on and this is how it is we have applied a little shake right here which makes a lot of sense without any fiddling around with the modifiers in the graph editor or with the keyframes now you can also proceed to add quick add motion to it as well so your scene will look more realistic just like this this looks even way better than we have before but if you don't like this or it does not give you what you want then if you want to change it, you can just simply press N on your keyboard and go over to the quick add-on section. Go over to the quick motion camera and for example, if you don't want this too much vibration, you can change the vibration to 4 or you can add a rotation as well and you can add this to your scene and you will have the different kind of motion that you want. But if you don't want this one, you can also proceed to add some mild extreme camera shake for car chase and more 
just increase the vibration if you want and you can proceed to add it this is how easy it is for this add-on to make you this realistic camera motion so for example let's take a look at the extreme vibration so we're gonna 100 vibrations and add rotation and proceed to add this yep as you can see it looks way cooler now and now for those who would like to play with the presets there are also a lot of presets available for you to check out so under this preset camera motion by default it's using the default shake preset so you just simply have to change to whatever you want for example i want fast car chase check this out and go all the way over to zero and proceed to add you would notice that we have this kind of motion going on and you can also make it stable and change the vibrations to whatever you want i'm gonna go with this and click on add it's going to add it and that's how easy it is awesome there are endless possibilities with this add-on now there are also some other camera presets which you're gonna like so let me just clear the motion and then we are gonna change it to racing camera let's add this preset with all these default settings and as you can see it just look nice so currently if you want to have some random motion generator you can also choose the shake to low mild or intense i'm gonna go with low and rotation and location both make it shake now every time you hit shake it it's going to make random motion of your camera this is the third time i'm doing this fourth as you can see it creates random variations of shake motion so maybe let's take a look at some of the other camera presets like face movement once you select this proceed to apply and this is gonna just simply make it that the human is looking somewhere around so that's how easy it is and you can also combine the shake with this for example if we have this going on we can also proceed to go over to camera shake and you can add the shake duration of 25 frames or whatever you want just hit it and you have stable mild extreme chaos and stuff like that and here we also have the shake preset so i'm gonna go with the earthquake that will be fine and we are going with stable let's proceed to add camera shake it gives the realism that you want for your scene to have and you can also proceed to add some more glitch wherever your keyframe is is going to add it just like that and you can also have a little bit of shake right here so now you have random shake generator as well now just undo this and go over to random shake generator and you also have the low mild and intense and you can also change the length of your shake would have to be short 15 frames long 30 frames longer 60 frames and longest will be 120 frames forever will be endless so i'm gonna go with short which is fine and then i will just click shake and it's going to add that shake now if you are in the same frame and then click again it's going to add another shake just like that and if you press again it's going to add different kind of shake which is what i want thank you Rezi, for making this add-on possible now imagine how much things you can create with this add-on this add-on just blowed my mind and how much realism you can add to your short especially those who are trying to make some racing car animations or the cinematic motion of the camera and the stuff like that and this is definitely going to come in extremely handy for those who want to create these kind of things now let's take a look at the quick camera tools for this we are gonna need a brand new scene so let's just open up brand new scene in blender and go over to quick quick camera tools and you would notice that we have the animation data to keyframes we can also convert our shake and motion of the camera to keyframes and we can also proceed to track some objects and we can also switch cameras we can zoom in and out of the camera as well 
So for first we are going to check out and for this we are going to just animate the cube just like that and that's how I animate it quickly and then select your cube from this drop down under the object and click on set track. Make sure to select the camera then click on set track. Now it's going to track it just like that and you can also proceed to add some quick motion just like that. So now let's take a look at camera switcher. So for this we are going to add another camera into our scene just by pressing shift A add camera and make sure to go over to the outliner and select this camera icon right here. So it will switch the camera to active and then just simply press ctrl alt 0 while the camera is selected and it will snap the camera to view. Now whenever you want your camera to be switched you just have to go over to keyframes and then I want that to happen on 41 frames and just click on switch camera and you would notice nothing will happen because we also have to add the first camera to switching so go over to the outliner and click on this camera icon it will switch the camera to the active one and you just have to click on switch camera now once you are here let's go over to the camera view once you play the animation you would notice that we have some camera switching going on and we can also set to track this one as well just like that and you can also check the camera zoomer as well so how much zoom you want to have you can just go over right here I want 25 and period means how many frames will it take to zoom out so I want it to happen in 10 frames and then click on zoom out now it has added the keyframes and that's how easy it is and you can also press the zoom in again just like that now you can also proceed to convert the all animation to keyframes so let's just select the main camera and then convert to keyframes now you would notice that we have all the keyframes of the animation All right, now let's take a look at the quick camera animation section. So for this, this is very simple and handy for you. Let's just open up a new scene and take a look at it. So for this, just go over to quick and right here and you will notice that we have random motion. We have low, mild, intense, path, rotation, location and both. So I will go with both and click on and first you need to have camera selected and then you have to click on animate now go into the camera view by pressing numpad 0 and you would notice that we have motion going on and you can also click again to add random again every time you click this animate is going to add random motion just like that and you can also lock camera as well and you can pan camera as well so with these settings you just have to increase the distance rotation and stuff like that just click on animate again and this is how it is and you can also proceed to add the zoom in and out function just like that once we have done that all settings now you have seen this add-on doing tons of stuff that you cannot do by default so let's take a look at advanced camera motion so let's just delete all the animation 
and just go over to the advanced camera motion and click on it and it's going to add the advanced motion but this is normal now you would notice that we have a drop down menu right here and you can increase the vibrations as well stable mild extreme strength as well it will show you what is the strength of the each preset and you can also make a custom preset if you want just like that now you would notice that we have this animation going on you can decrease the vibrations you can decrease the scale strength as well you can stop the rotation as well and that's how insane this add-on is now we also have the same menu under the camera shake as well so you can also proceed to add the camera shake with these settings as i have told you there is endless possibilities with this add-on you can create as much motions of the camera you want by the way make sure to join my discord server the link will be in the description below so let me know what you guys think about this add-on in the comment section below and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share it with your friends and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so that you won't miss any future uploads and i will catch you in the next video bye